Podium XRT, or simply XRT, employs a ray tracing method called path tracing, which is the most physically accurate method of 3D rendering. Typically, path tracing applications are computationally intense and therefore slow. But with the use of the Intel Denoiser, XRT's path tracer is very fast. Podium XRT is a CPU-based application that works on Windows and any Mac, Apple Silicon, or Intel. The ray tracing engine is based on Intel's Osprey path tracer. Like SU Podium, XRT is for SketchUp. You do need SketchUp 2022 or 2023. Although it can be used alone, Podium XRT is an excellent and inexpensive companion product to SU Podium as well as Podium Browser. Let's take a look at some features and applications. In this video, I will examine opening Podium XRT moving around the rendered scene, synchronize with the SketchUp camera or SketchUp scenes, render settings, light settings, and background settings. We will look at soft light shadows as well as depth of field images and touch on panorama, at least the user interface. Let's open this modified interior design originally mod modeled by Nat Alice for SU Podium. XRT supports all SU Podium and Podium Browser material properties, so this model already has a number of materials with reflections and bump maps, as well as light fixtures from Podium Browser. So you can see these different light fixtures um, and materials. Um, to start XRT, just click on the icon, Podium XRT icon. And just like in Podium, the materials and properties or the materials and surfaces are exported from SketchUp to the render engine. I'm gonna click this button here on the right to make the rendered scene on top of SketchUp always. And you see the model gets clearer and clearer as the sample rate increases. Right now I have the sample rate set to 20. Path tracing uses random samplings of rays of light to gradually calculate the final image. Now the great thing about um, Podium XRT is you can move around the rendered scene practically in real time. So you can rotate things. and the camera can be synchronized with the SketchUp camera. So the XRT camera can be synchronized with the SketchUp camera. So if I click Scene 1 and click Synchronize, I'm going to get the Scene 1 camera in the rendered scene. So we'll try that again with Scene 2. Click Scene 2, Synchronize it, and there it is. There's the camera view is the same as scene 2. Let's try scene 3 from SketchUp and synchronize it. And there we have the view outside the window. And we'll go back to scene 1. Now, after we do this, let's take a look at the rendered settings. Now the most important feature is the sample rate. And this is where path tracing is randomly sampling rays of lights to calculate the final image. So the higher the sampling rate, the higher the quality of the final image. However, due to the excellent denoise, you can often have a sample rate lower than 30, 20. I'm going to change it to 15 to speed things up. Speed the, this demonstration up a little bit. And next, let's take a look at the light settings. So we've got physical light, which is the sun and sky. And we can increase that. Sometimes in the interior, you want to increase the physical 
lighting so you can get more sunlight into the scene like I've just done. And the same is true, let's lower that back down to one. We could increase the artificial lights, which is the point lights and spotlights that come from Podium or Podium Browser. And that also increased the lighting, on a, at least the artificial lighting. We also have some tone map features. I reset everything here. The gamma would be a gamma correction. It's kind of like changing the light levels. It's a very fast way to illuminate the scene. And once you're happy with the sliders, the light intensity uh, sliders, you can save them in a, your own preset. I just lower the gamma a little bit. And I'm going to save this in my preset called Interior 1. And I can use this again in this model or in other models. And what I'm going to do next, as you see the rendering clearer, getting clearer and clearer, I'm going to go to Scene 3 and synchronize that with XRT. And this brings up the background settings. We have Simulation, and which is based on the Silver Lining Library. So it's very, light, very much like Podium. And you have HDRI backgrounds. These are IBL backgrounds. There's a list of default ones that come with the program, but you can get more from Podium Browser and many other sources. I'm using Sunset 2. I'll offset the location of the sun so I get maximum sun light into the room. Let's go back to Scene 1 camera and synchronize that. And what I'll do is increase the um, physical lighting, that's the HDRI lighting, to get a little more pink into the room. And you can see the effect of that. And you can save this preset as a separate preset, like for example, interior HDRI, or anything you want to call it. And that's how what it looks like. Now we're ready to save the image. And you can pick the camera icon from the menu. And this will save a PNG or JPEG or BMP file. And you'll be asked what resolution and um, the location of the file to be saved. Now when you do this, the rendered scene will re-render. So if you have 20 samples, it's going to render 20 samples. Now there is a faster way to save a file, and that's called Capture Screen. So if you use Capture Screen, make sure you've got the full resolution, and this is totally up to the size of your viewport. So if you've got a good size viewport, you can use screen capture, save it at any location, at any file format, and it's a very fast way to save images. Now finally, I just wanted to show this up front button, which keeps the XRT rendered scene on top of SketchUp at all times, and you can turn it off. Let's take a look at soft shadows for point lights. Point lights are in most of the light fixtures from Podium Browser and are a common way to illuminate an interior. This soft shadow feature will soften the edge reflections of the point lights and is effective in making the point lighting look very natural. Let's go ahead and try this out on this model. There are several recess lights as well as a large pendant and floor lamps with point lights. Open the panel or the light panel UI and you can see the soft shadow slider. This increases the radius of the point light producing a soft shadow edge effect. I will increase this to 10. 
You can see the light shadows on the wall went from hard edges to much softer, natural looking edges. The floor lamp light shadows also became softer. Depth of field can produce images that blur the background behind the focus of attention. In this example, the ornate table and lamp are the focus. I want everything behind to be slightly blurred. I've also turned on soft shadows and adjusted other light parameters, as you will see. Here's the depth of field user interface. It's accessed from the bottom right of the XRT screen. This feature does require a little experimenting to get a good image. The FOV default is what SketchUp FOV is, but you can adjust it. Turn Enable on. You will see the Aperture Radius slider and the Focus Distance slider. I will make the aperture radius to 100 millimeters as an experiment. You can see the entire screen is blurred. I will lower the aperture radius to 41. The focus length is how far from the camera you want things to be in focus. The unit says meters, but XRT will read whatever SketchUp unit you are using. So let me change the focus length to 4 and then eventually to 3.5. You can see this brings the ornate table and lamp into focus while the background is blurred. Panorama UI is located in the Save an Image icon. Open this and you can see the echo rectangular dimension settings. Whatever you put in the width setting will automatically be divided by 2 to create a 360 by 180 panorama. This will render an echo rectangular image that you can upload to a panorama HTML server such as panopdm.com. That concludes all the features of Podium XRT and you can see that this is a very productive tool and a fantastic companion product for issue Podium and Podium browser as it is a very fast and high quality visualization tool.